This week, many teachers are in the process of clearing out their classrooms so they can get deep cleaned over the summer. It is a bittersweet end to the year for students and teachers. As WFMY News 2's Kevin Kennedy learned, for some teachers it was especially difficult. Every year for the past 31, Ellen Gilbert spends one day at the end of the year cleaning out and tearing down her classroom. But this year it feels a lot different. I had not been in the classroom since March. And just to come in, it kind of took my breath away. In here, time stood still. Everything left as it was from March 13th. No teacher wanting this ending. A two-month void magnified even more for Miss Gilbert. You see, this year is her last in the classroom. The hardest part I'm dealing with is that I just don't feel like I've had closure with these students. So on what would have been one of the last days of school, Miss Gilbert spends it alone in the classroom getting it ready for the next teacher while thinking about the three decades she called this home. I keep saying I'm going to write a book. The, the stories that I have, it's comedy every day. There's, there's never a dull moment in the classroom. Saying goodbye to something that brought so much is never easy. Saying goodbye like this, well... My mom even asked me the other day, would you have signed your retirement papers if you knew that it was going to end this way? And I said, you know, I, I don't know. Teachers will tell you not every story has the perfect ending. This one will end without tiny faces, without final goodbyes, and no hugs. It's frustrating not to be able to have that huge celebration after 30 years in education and letting her students come in and former teachers come in and celebrate with her. Who could have guessed a story that started in 1990, one that saw her teach and mentor more than 1,500 kids, would have a final chapter that looks like this. So how about we change the ending and let a student or two add a couple lines? I wish I could give her a hug too. And I feel sad that she can't do that to us. I just want to say to her that she was such a great teacher and that she helped me learn reading really easily and really fun. So for every student that had the privilege of learning from one of the best. Bye, Miss Gilbert. I miss you. Goodbye. But more importantly, thanks for everything you did in those 31 years. Kevin Kennedy, Two Wants to Know. She obviously touched so many young lives. Miss Gilbert was not the only teacher to retire after the school year. About 100 Guilford County School teachers called it a career. We would like to thank them for all that they did in the classroom for their students.